At airports and FBOs around the country, corporate and airline crews gather their paper cockpit publications for another cross-country or international flight. Depending on the scope of their respective operations, these publications and the kit bags to carry them can weigh in excess of 60 pounds. Transporting and updating these publications can be a tedious and difficult task, as thousands of pages of documents must be reorganized, reviewed, and repacked to ensure that America's cockpits are safely filled with the most current information available. Fortunately for these crews, aviation developments and information technology now provide a rapidly improving alternative, digitizing these paper documents into a significantly more manageable notebook computer system, the electronic flight bag. Making up the majority of the bulky kit bags carried by these air crews are approach plates and terminal instrument procedures, airport diagrams, and en route charts that establish the highways in the sky for the big jets. Depending on the type of destinations for a crew, be it small domestic operations or major international airlines, the number of paper documents required and the space available to store them varies. Flight deck crews must have available to them information and procedures for airports in all of the regions in which they operate. With many major airports having multiple runways, and runways having multiple procedures, the documents required to be carried on board present a challenge to pilots everywhere as they must be both transported and updated frequently. The implementation of electronic flight bags, which digitizes all of this information and stores it into a compact computerized system, has made pilots' lives easier and has presented the opportunity to conduct flight operations more safely. The utilization of this type of information technology in the cockpit began in the early 90s when pilots began using basic spreadsheet applications to perform common pre-flight calculations more rapidly. This developed into companies' implementation of off-the-shelf portable computers with certified cockpit docking stations to more efficiently conduct performance calculations and determine flight capabilities. Other implementations included the digitization of operating manuals for pilots as well as the distribution of information over pilot networks. With these numerous improvements arose similar advances in electronic flight bag technology. These EFBs house the capability to store a world full of maps, charts, plates, and other publications and have expanded into synchronization with real-time weather and GPS technology. Pilots can now not only have all of their documents stored on a compact, two-pound computer notebook that can be mounted for hands-off use, but can also see their real-time aircraft position superimposed over these approach procedures. This can be very useful at times when weather forces pilots to fly off of the aircraft's instruments with no outside visual references. The Federal Aviation Administration has divided this EFB hardware into three classifications. Class 1 electronic flight bags are off-the-shelf handheld devices that lack certified mounting in the cockpit. They may be used during flight, but are not approved during critical phases like takeoffs or landings. Those with built-in mounts and that are approved to be used during all phases of flight are considered Class 2 and are the kind that can be implemented by individual pilots. Finally, hardware that is certified Class 3 are those EFBs that are installed into the aircraft panel by the manufacturer or other approved installer. All three classes provide pilots with the option to reduce their need for bulky paper documents as well as their workload. Ultimately, the electronic flight bag offers a safer alternative to paper publications. Not only does it reduce the physical size of the required cockpit references, but limits the clutter on the flight deck that can create unsafe situations in the sky. Frequently having to switch between multiple types and versions of charts, the EFB allows quick transfer between these documents without having to waste costly time that could be better used to precisely and safely fly the aircraft. Electronic flight bags also allow pilots to accomplish the frequent updates of these references with a click of a button, instead of hours of sifting through worldwide publications to make manual changes. Further developments in this area are now giving pilots continuously improving capabilities both in the air and on the ground, and are allowing for safer operations in the cockpit. The implementation of this technology has been slow in some operating fields of the aviation community due to regulatory burdens, but as the reliability and capabilities improve, more and more cockpits will rely on these relatively small computerized systems to navigate the globe. A lot of people are like, aren't you too young to fly an airplane? And you know, hey, don't worry about it. You know, I just look young. I mean, you don't know how old I am. And B, I have an EFB.